Hey, what's up guys? It's Fruity. We're back with episode 10 of the no slash minimal spin run of the original Crash Bandicoot. In the uh, previous episode, I took on my favorite level, Slippery Climb, getting the beautiful red gem. And we also went through Lights Out and Jaws of Darkness, but made a bit less progress on that front. But at least we beat them. This time, moving on to Castle Machinery. I believe I will be able to get the gem here without spinning. I think we should be all good on that front. Between episodes, I backtracked and got myself a couple of Aku Aku, so that will help too. Something pretty funny is going to happen right away when we enter this level, though. But I won't spoil anything just yet. It's uh, going to be pretty hilarious, though. So, basically, the main gimmick with this level is that you start off the level right next to the exit. So, if we go in here, we can see the end of the level is right there. Unfortunately, you can't make the jump to it. You have to fall down that pit, which isn't actually a death pit, and do the level the long way around. However, if you have the green gem... Ooh, what's this? <gasps> so many lives! And we're done. <laughs> that's the end of the level. Well, that's it. You know, episode done. You know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So if you get the green gem, it gives you that little shortcut. A little bit of an extra reward if you've been trying to get some gems throughout the game. Because the green gem lets you skip the whole of castle machinery, uh, the green gem is the only gem you get in an any percent speed around this game. So you can just skip that whole level. And yes, there are 24 boxes in castle machinery. That is the precise number oh but it's a pretty hilarious thing to see whenever it comes to the the old speed run i'm telling you because just like it's that they always make a joke on it like you know like <laughs> at least at marathon speed runs anyway probably not when streaming you know just, yeah but anyways castle machinery following on from heavy machinery this is the second machinery wall level of the game. I like how both of the names have the word machinery in it. It's heavy machinery and castle machinery. You get, you get a real sequel feel from it because of that, I'd say, <laughs> in all honesty. But yeah, this is the only gem route in the game which um, doesn't aid you towards getting a level's uh, own gem. Whoop. No, I can't make the jump. And down we fall to the very bottom. Well, going the long way around isn't too bad. Yeah, so this level, you know, I wouldn't actually say it's too much harder than Heavy Machinery. It's, uh, it's a little strange the way it mixes things up. It has less of the, uh, bouncy platforms, and I guess it just has, uh, more of a heavy focus on these things, where the platforms take you up and you have to get off at a certain time before touching the old red-hot pipes. Yeah, you gotta be deadly careful. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to, or well, we will get in vulnerability here. I do not think I'll need vulnerability for anything in this level, though. To my knowledge, I think I can break all the boxes here without any problems. Because there's only 24 boxes, like I said, and I already know where 19 of them are. Because there are, like, two large groups of boxes, which uh, total 19. So I guess the rest are just checkpoints and that odd Aku Aku crate and stuff. And I just got hit. Wow, that was really reckless of me. <laughs> Okay, this platform here, just walk straight forward. You don't have to jump. There isn't a gap there, so don't worry about it. And that takes us over a part of the level there. Couple more boxes. And we're done with that. So yeah, there are some of these steam vents here. I'm tempted to say there aren't as many as heavy machinery, but I don't think that's true. I think it has about the same amount. They just maybe spread out a little more, I guess. And dropping down again. I thought we were supposed to be going up. Well, we will be soon enough. And whoa, that's... Oh, that was weird. The camera stayed down. Okay, well, there's no boxes there anyway, so whatever. So this is where six of those 19 boxes are I was talking about. Nice little bouncy crate area. And, uh... Interestingly enough, it looks like you should be able to go up there, and it and originally you were supposed to be able to when they're making this game. It's like an unused area. I think there's a video of it on YouTube of a guy like hacking so he can get up there. It's uh, pretty cool. Oh yeah, do not go on that bouncy pad. That's going to take you straight up into the old red hot pipes. What a troll. What a troll. <laughs> oh, you hit your head on the roof here. Got to be careful of that. 
So this is actually right below the end of the level here. You might have noticed this little, um, this little staircase here as I was falling down originally. So yeah, we're getting closer. We are getting closer. We are also about to reach the trickiest part of the level here. Where the majority of the boxes are in this crate bridge here. There's 13 boxes. So yeah, actually more than half of the boxes in the level are right here. It isn't that hard once you've had a bit of practice with it, but I'd still say it's the toughest part of the level. I remember I struggled with this a lot back in my original Let's Play of the game, when it was my first time 100%ing it. It's pretty nuts. And you can see the edge of the universe there. <laughs> it's just the black edge of the universe on the right there. <laughs> Didn't program that in, obviously. Now this is what I want my Akulakus for, because I can't spin away these cameras, so this might be tricky, I'm just <laughs> gonna try and dodge them. Oh, and there you go, I already screwed it up. <laughs> but I only get hit once at least, and I use my invulnerability frames to get rid of that last camera, so hey, it's not so bad, it's not so bad. And there we go, we are very close to the end now, actually. Just a couple more jumps to go. Oh, I can hear it. I can hear the end. It's tantalizing. It's tantalizing. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go, my friends. Back at the start of the level, <laughs> which is actually the end of the level. <laughs> yeah, that level's pretty crazy, the way things are set up. Not only just with the old green gem route as a shortcut, just having to come back to where you started. It's all nuts. All very nuts. But there's our ninth gem. No spinning necessary, no invulnerabilities necessary either. That was a very simple level to complete, wasn't it? Very, very nice. I am quite satisfied with myself after that. Now, you may have seen it, but we are actually going to be fighting Dr. Nitrous Rio next. The penultimate boss of the game. The fifth boss. And I will be able to beat him without spinning at all, which is very, very nice. Another thing I didn't really think about up to this point is that Castle Machinery doesn't have any bonus rounds. It's uh, pretty interesting. No bonus rounds at all in that one. There's, I actually honestly never really thought about that before. Huh. It's pretty, pretty ridiculous, particularly since Heavy Machinery has two bonuses. I guess that's to make up for it or something? Eh. I genuinely never really thought about that before. I mean, like, levels like Temple Ruins, I've noticed, like, not having any bonuses. But for some reason, I've never really noticed that about Castle Machinery. It's odd. Anyways, heading into Nitrous Brio, fifth boss of the game. He's not that hard. I'd still say Koala Kong is a harder boss, honestly. Um, he's got a pretty cool aesthetic to his um, uh, little boss fight arena here, though. Anyway, so yeah, I've paused it here so you can see the little animation that happens before... Um, the boss fight starts, so he's just sort of pouring in some chemicals together. So you can see the second island of the game in the background out the window there, and you can also just about see the first island of the game to the right of it there. Oh, and that got me hit. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, he's got this really creepy looking skull on the floor. Like, it's his own skull. It's in the shape of his head, and it's got an NV for Nitrous Brio. Very slippery climb esque aesthetic here with the sea and the storm and the just the general castle look. But yeah, as you can tell, you have to jump onto the uh, green slime balls he throws out. You can also spin them if they're in midair. You can't spin them if they're on the ground, it'll just knock them away. And then, oh my god, he turns into the Incredible Hulk. Yep, then all you have to do is jump on these bricks and jump at his head. So he has 9 HP, but they go by pretty quick. And there we go. Short, simple boss. Really not too much to say about that. <laughs> and it's quite close to the end of the game too. There's not much left before Cortex. Uh, you know, Brio, you know, get, get, gets in there towards the end. It means Cortex doesn't get very many levels though, like preceding him. Uh, Brio gets quite a few though, so yeah. But anyways, we're heading into what is actually the final regular level of the game. So you see, Cortex only really gets this one level. The lab, <laughs> that's not a generic name. But this level is uh, actually pretty cool. It uh, might ring a bell, the aesthetic of the level, from something we've seen before at this point. But it's got a little bit of a twist on it this time. So as you can see when we warp in here, the level is uh, quite reminiscent of Lights Out. It's got the castle corridor look going for it, except it's a little more technological this time because it is of course a lab, or THE lab as the level would have us believe. And you have to hit these exclamation crates to make doors open. 
uh, or make these platforms um, extend themselves. And it's a little harder when you can't spin. And now this is what I was talking about in Lights Out, how you can see outside the windows of the castle. You can get this cool sky view, I can see a crescent moon out there on the left. It's very nice. Um, I, w I wish you could get a bit closer, get a bit of a bigger view. Maybe in the remaster we'll get some cool views out those windows. I don't believe I'll have to spin here at all for the gem. I think we're I think we're all good on that front actually, which is uh, lucky. But again, could be pretty tricky because I can only jump on top of these exclamation crates. Still cool looking level. I like it, the aesthetic a little more than the lights out type uh, look. Particularly with those uh, views, of course. Anyway, heading into this, what is actually the final tournament bonus of the whole game, although I still have a couple left to do since I screwed them up uh, last time. Ooh, got the idle animation here with Crash throwing a Wumper up, and. Ooh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? And then, oh, in his head. And apparently it turns him purple. I, I did not know Wumper Juice was purple, but okay. Uh, there is actually a box up here you can get if you get on top of the top bouncy crate, but that's very hard to do, so yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna concentrate here. Oh, oops. Oh, oops. It broke early, what the? I was counting it off, and it, it didn't didn't work apparently well that's okay I guess I'll have to do that bonus again Ooh, lord okay now these guys here um, you're supposed to spin them back every time they're not electrified and they make this hilarious scream whenever you, you knock them off the edge which is uh, how you kill them unfortunately I can't spin them I don't know if you can jump on them either I'm tempted to say you can't uh, I guess I'll have to, to risk it and uh, no, you cannot jump on them. That is a negatory. Okay, Julie, no. And we're gonna have to reset the level because I died after a checkpoint. <laughs> you can um, jump around them. You actually can jump around them. I just wanted to test to see if you could jump on them in order to get them. But uh, evidently not. <laughs> evidently. Oh dear. Deary me. Well then, you know, I guess I'm just gonna have to wing it and jump back into the level. Um, one thing I didn't mention about this is, uh, this level actually is fantastic music. I love the level, uh, the music for this level. Um, in terms of favorite music for this game, um, my favorite music would be the main theme, which, uh, plays on the map select screen, because, come on, it's the classic original Crash theme. And then, uh, Slippery Climb and The Lab. So, those would be my three favorite music tracks in this game, so, yeah. Of course, that was another reason why I love Slippery Climb, and it's a good reason to like this level, too. Not a big fan of this level, but I'd probably say it's my third favorite on the island after Slippery Climb and Jaws of Darkness. It's, it's a cool level, like I said, I like the aesthetic, the, the music's great, the, the challenge is quite good. But, um, it's a little short, this level, I'll admit. It's, it's actually quite on the short side, so I wish it were a bit longer. Also, there is a TNT hidden in those crates back there, I, I didn't mention it, but yeah, don't spin into that, that's very devious. Alright, now we have another chance of doing this tourna bonus, we're not screwing it up this time. <laughs> I'll try and see if I can get that box, actually, the one on... See, if you get on that bouncy crate up there, there's a box you can get. But it, yeah, again, it it's so hard, like, um, I don't... Yeah, see, exactly, like, I, I've seen it done before, but... Whatever. I'm not gonna bother with these crates that time. They're not worth it. Alright, there we go. Final tourna bonus of the game, although not the last one I'll be doing. <laughs> 9 out of 26 gems. We got quite a few gems without having to uh, spin so far. We're doing a pretty, pretty reasonable job. Pretty reasonable job right there, I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll tell, you, tell you that much. Um, so, uh, yeah, heading back into the lab, the uh, tournament bonus, all three tokens are actually quite early in the level, so, you know, we're not, we're not actually that far into it. And again, much like Lights Out, this level does have these nice little curved sections, so it's not just like a, a straight line all the way through the level, which I appreciate. Okay, so now this guy, you can jump around him like that. It's a little bit scary, but not too hard, in all honesty. That's what they do in speedruns, because it, it's faster than knocking him back multiple times into the pit. Uh, these uh, yellow blobs, they're kind of like the ones you fight in Brio's boss fight. 
Uh, I usually just jump around them again, because they uh, constantly respawn when you kill them. So I, I just find it easier that way. Now this could be tricky. Oh, I can't believe it. I jumped right into it. That is not easy. That is not easy. I'm going to reset the level again, because... Yeah, I, I want to get the gem here. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. What just happened? What actually just happened? Alright, we're pretty much back now. Whew, this bit. I do not like this bit. Jeez, oh, this is so much harder than it needs to be. Oh my goodness, this is actually so hard. Oh, there we go, i done it. I've done it. Oh no, not you. Eh, I established I can jump on those guys. <laughs> but now the true trickiness commences, because we're now at the hardest part of the level. You can jump on the sides here to let these TNTs go up for you. Watch out for the doors. The doors do actually close after a bit of an interval, and they do kill you if you're uh, standing under them. So yeah, be careful. So this is the trickiest part of the level, in my opinion, this one part. Just like, yeah, getting the timing right on this, it's not easy. Alright, there we go. Phew, that had me a bit scared, but we're okay. No, I'm not gonna go. Too much. I'm gonna wait for the door. Yeah, see, the door closes. Alright, there we go. We're through. Oh, gods. How does this work? Okay, there we go. That's another scary part. Not as bad as the first one, but... Yeah, once you get close enough, the blob stops spawning. Whew! Okay, uh... Little known fact. You can stand in front of this door here. It, it's not gonna crush you here. You're far enough in front of it. Which is very useful for seeing what you're doing with this cycle. Which you have to wait quite a long time before it works out for you. So I'm just gonna sit here patiently. Okay, that's good enough. Wasn't perfect, but it's good enough. Whoa. And there's the end of the level. See, it's a pretty short level, actually. And if you're careful, it isn't too hard. You gotta make sure those TNTs all explode. Don't jump on the end of the level prematurely. And cool end chamber here. A lot of those spiky looking pillars there. And with the black background, it's quite reminiscent of the Cortex bonus rounds, isn't it? So yeah, with that, we got ourselves another gem, and oh my goodness, it is another colored gem. There you go, the yellow gem from the, from the final regular level of the game. See, they really put all these colored gems quite late in the game. <laughs> you, you have no idea just how true that is, but uh, you'll find out soon enough. So yeah, the yellow gem, pretty interesting looking shape. Its shape changes completely in the later Crash games. It's kind of similar to the green gem, I think a little bit longer and a little bit more rectangular, the points aren't quite as sharp, but yeah, the color reminds me a bit of like a lemon, <laughs> I like thinking of it as like a, a sherbet lemon lolly, that's sort of what it looks like to me, but uh, yeah, there we go, we're really flying through things now, we're pretty much finished, like next time I can pretty much just go ahead and fight Cortex. Because, well, as we come out of the lab here, you'll see that I go into a level called the Great Hall. What could this Great Hall be? Surely it must be the hardest level in the game. It's like the last level, after all. No, actually, it's, um... It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not very hard at all. Um, uh, you know, uh, I'll save it for next time. But, you know, much like the old castle machinery skip thing, it's, uh, it's quite funny. So we'll save, save it for a funny intro next time. Uh... And then we'll probably do some backtracking now that I have the yellow gem. I believe I can possibly get a couple more clear gems without having to spin it all. And then we'll defeat Cortex. So yeah, that'll be what we're doing next time. Once we're finished with that, I can um, go for 100%. So hopefully you'll join me next time. This is Fruity, signing off.